Okay, so now let us quickly revise the complete uh, learnings on symmetry. So first we understood the meaning of symmetry and in that we explored the general and the mathematical meanings of symmetry and in the general meaning we understood that the general meaning of symmetry signifies a concept of balance, beauty and harmony whereas in the mathematical meaning we understood that it is a concept of balance or similarity that needs to be proved and understood mathematically and more specifically we also figured out that we will be learning symmetry as applied to geometry and in more specific details we will be learning about line symmetry and rotational symmetry so that was the first part and in the second part we learned the applications of symmetry and we also discussed that the designers, artists, architects use symmetry a lot in their day to day lives and nature also has a lot of symmetry this is an example of an image of a leaf a mountain may have symmetry a very symmetrical mountain although it's very difficult to find this but yeah you can find out a triangular shape in nature having symmetry and we also see that the applications of symmetry are found in our day to day lives for example this is just like if I the front portion of my system monitor which shows symmetry so that was the second part now we then go into the third point of discussion in which we discussed about line symmetry and then we also discussed the definition of line symmetry and in that we were introduced to the concept of the line or the axis of symmetry along which if we fold this figure it will coincide with each other so that was the concept of line symmetry and then we went on to study the lines of symmetry for regular polygons and in which we understood first the definition of regular polygons which implies that regular polygons have equal angle and equal length and the examples that we took were the triangle, the square, the pentagon and the hexagon, the regular ones and we also understood, uh, we took an example for finding out the lines of symmetry for a square and then we generalized the finding saying that the lines of symmetry for regular polygons is equal to the number of sides number of sides, that is the equal number of sides so that was all about the line symmetry then we discussed the rotational symmetry and in that we first understood rotation so there are three aspects of rotation that we understood first is the center of rotation we use the example of clock the center of rotation that is the fixed point along which an object rotates and then we understood that there could there are there is a there, there is a direction associated with the rotation it could be either in the clockwise fashion or in the anti clockwise fashion and we also understood that there is a concept of angle of rotation that is the small angles in which the object rotates and we also understood that a one full turn equals 360 degree half turn equals 180 degree and a quarter turn implies 90 degree so that was the idea about what rotation consists of and then we studied the rotational symmetry for regular polygons here we have just taken square as a symbol of that and uh, the method for uh, finding out the rotational symmetry was first identify the center of rotation then you identify the angle of rotation and again the angle of rotation should be the minimum angle by which if you rotate the image it still looks the same then you also decide the direction of rotation which could be either clockwise or anti-clockwise and rotate by 360 degree that is give a full turn and that should be in the steps of the angle of rotation and observe take, take a point and observe how many times during this rotation the object looks the same that will give you the order of the rotational symmetry for the regular polygon and we also figured out that the order of rotational symmetry for regular polygons is equal to the number of equal angles so with this we conclude our summary of the chapter on symmetry